In this video, we intend to solve and submit the ISBN exercise from the second series as an example of conditional statements. We will start from the solution of the ISBN exercise in series 1. In this exercise, we will enter the 10 integers of an ISBN number, each on a separate line. We will then calculate the check digit using the known formula and check whether this sequence of 10 integers corresponds to a valid ISBN number. If this is the case, we output the word OK as an answer, otherwise the word wrong will be printed. Switching to PyCharm, we start from the solution from series 1. In the current exercise, we are asked to enter 10 digits of the ISBN number, calculate the check digit, and then compare this check digit to the 10th digit x10. So there will be a change in the third part of the previous solution. We will now calculate and compare the check digit to the given value of x10. So in this exercise, 10 digits of the ISBN number have to be read instead of only the first nine digits. To do this, we add another input line. In the second part, we calculate the check digit and save this result in a new variable called check digit. In the third part of the solution, we will compare this check digit with the value of x10 using an if statement. The if keyword is followed by a condition, followed by a column. The next lines contain all the instructions that need to be executed when the condition is true. Note the indentation after the if header line. If x10 and the check digit have the same value, the word OK has to be printed. If not, we output the message wrong. Make sure that the program code has the same indentation for both the if and else clauses. We set this exercise and test it in PyCharm. In the context menu we choose run ISBN or we click the run button. At the bottom of the screen appears a run to window. Here we enter the 10 digits. We use the sample input from the problem description on the donor. And after entering those digits, the check digit is calculated, checked with the 10th digit, and the result is printed. We get OK. Visual verification of the result generated in the run tool window also produces OK. This seems to suggest that we have solved this exercise correctly. We still need to submit the exercise to the donor. For this, we return to PyCharm, where we copy the code, switch to the donor, paste the copied code, and then submit. If we wait for a few seconds, we can observe that we have submitted a correct solution. As you can see, we can even check which input has been used in the tests and what the expected and the generated output is. In this exercise, we were asked to enter the 10 digits of an ISBN number, recalculate the check digit and then, by comparing the 10th digit to the check digit, check whether these 10 digits correspond to a valid ISBN number. This is the end of this video, in which we demonstrated how to solve the ISBN exercise from the second series.